and it's called something like Di Hua. I don't know how to pronounce it exactly. Di Hua. Oh, that's pretty good. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Hey, this is Amir. This is Diana. And you're watching Vegan to Some. Welcome back to our channel. If this is your first time here and you're interested in vegan food and all other vegan things, you're in the right place. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a bowl of ramen and enjoy this episode. We have new episodes every Sunday. By the boom! We're still here in Taipei. Taiwan, it's late here. Diana's unhappy with me because she didn't want to film outside, but I made her do it, so she's unhappy. Show them your unhappy face. No. <laughs> now I'm not so unhappy because I'm warm. When I was looking on Happy Cow, I saw this place called Mukuchi, which is a 100% vegan ramen place. And I was like, well, Amir loves ramen. We got to go here and try it. So we did for dinner tonight, and it is located in a street that is very cool. It's like the oldest street apparently in Taipei. The street is architecturally really cool with lanterns and different types of style of architecture and just shops lined on both sides. Well, it was really interesting because you had like modern shoe store next to a wholesale dried mushroom place. Apparently they take reservations. I couldn't do it online. Maybe you have to call in, but it was okay. We went there for dinner. There were still tables available. They have seating inside and they also have seats outside. So since it was decently not raining at least, not too cold, not too hot. We sat outside. Let's talk about the menu. They had no English on their menu and no English menu. And they didn't speak any English. So if you don't speak Mandarin, you were shit out of luck, homie. <laughs> this one did, so we were lucky. Because I don't read it. I don't know like what the words are. So I had to ask our server to walk through the menu for us and he was very kind he told us you choose one of these soup bases and then you can choose the different flavors for your ramen and these are the side dishes and there were a lot of items i was trying to keep track of which ones i thought we would be most interested in ordering and it worked out I ordered successfully. Let's talk about the two different options of broth we had. One was oat milk and the other one was... Clear and I think sugar cane based. Now, is broth normally milk based? No, it can be. Like when we get creamy vegan miso ramen at mm. Jinya, maybe is it somehow creamy, right? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Interesting. I guess we should ask him next time. Figure that out. I got this spicy tan tan. No, you didn't. Oh, I didn't. What no, did no, no, no. I, again, I don't know the names of these items. It was mostly based on description as our server was telling me. And he said that this ramen was the spiciest and it had two peppers. I was like, okay, Amir should get the really spicy one because he likes spicy ramen. So I was like, okay, that's the one. I used Google Translate camera and Google Translate told me that Amir's ramen was a spicy miso ramen. Oh, was it? Yeah. I got the original flavored ramen. I wanted to try something basic to see what their, you know, what their base level of ramen tastes like. And what did we get to share? He recommended these two side dishes. Again, I used Google Translate and the one we ordered said tofu. I was like, okay, tofu. Because the other one he recommended 
had the word asparagus in it. I was like, no, we don't usually like asparagus. So let's stick with the tofu one. Let's get into it. Which one should we start with? Let's start with the appetizer. All right. The appetizer, it was this like pox. It wasn't tofu by any means. I didn't think it was tofu. Maybe it was mushed up tofu formed into these little round pucks. Not that great. I don't know. I think it definitely needed some kind of sauce. It can be no sauce. It wasn't that flavorful. It didn't taste that great. I didn't love it. What do you think? It was pink colored inside. I don't know what made it that color. Beets? Beets? Something to make it pink. Mm. And it kind of reminded me of falafel shaped yeah. things, but they weren't, of course. Mm. It was a totally different flavor and texture. I didn't really love it either. One, One two, two, three. Oh, what's up? You want to talk about ramen? Yeah. Mine or yours? Mine. Let's get it, baby. Mmm, mine was just too simple. It wasn't salty. It wasn't anything, really. I thought it was so mild and too bland. The soup was creamy with the oat milk. The noodles also weren't right. They weren't like the normal ramen noodles I feel like we get when we get ramen. Like it was thinner and not as chewy, I don't think. And it came with seaweed and winter melon and this hybrid tofu slash fish cake, in my opinion. And it was only okay. What did you think? Not the greatest ramen I've ever had. Not creamy enough, not salty enough, not flavorful enough. There was hardly anything in it. It was one slice of winter melon, one slice of this tofu, fake meat. The noodles were just okay. I've had way better ramen. Shall we? Yes. One, One, two, two three. three. Boom. I think the broth was pretty good. That's the part I enjoyed the most of my ramen. Before we talk about my spicy ramen, let's talk about subscribing to this spicy channel. You would like to begin content? Well, how? That's what we do, and we do it really well. Press that subscribe button. Give it a thumbs up. And ring that bell so you won't miss any episodes. Because if you do, Holy hell. What did you think of your ramen? My ramen, more or less Diana's ramen, just a little bit spicier and not flavorful spicy. It was just peppers sprinkled in there. It was okay. Again, not much vegetables in there. One slice of winter melon and one slice of tofu thick meat hybrid. Didn't love it. I've had way better ramen. I agree. I do think yours was quite a bit spicier. Not just a little bit spicy. If you like spicy, you should get a mirror. If you like plain, maybe try something else. They do have a lot of other flavors of ramen. One, One two, two, three. And Dana, would you go back to Mukuchi and Tukuchi some ramen? What does Tekuchi mean? In what language? Indonesian. Look it up. Uh, I think maybe if there's a better version of a ramen on their menu that I don't know about because like maybe I ordered the wrong thing. Maybe I ordered something too basic. Because it wasn't that great of a vegan ramen. We've had much, much, much better vegan ramen at non-vegan places. It's really great that there's a vegan ramen place in Taipei. We're still not there yet in Vancouver, so bad for us, good for Taipei. But I don't know. Maybe there are better vegan options out there in Taipei. I tried to look on Happy Cow and I didn't really see any. So maybe this is it for vegan options in Taipei. Would you go back? 
No, I agree with you as far as the fact that it's an all vegan ramen place. It's amazing. The only other all vegan ramen place I've ever seen was Ramen Hood in LA, which I'm gonna put a link to that in the comments. You can watch that episode. Go ahead, watch that episode. It's definitely worth a watch. So that's amazing. All vegan ramen place in freaking Taipei. Yeah, but as far as the quality of ramen goes, maybe we're spoiled because there's so much good ramen in Vancouver. Maybe as far as other people think, this is a pretty decent ramen, but it really wasn't. It was just okay. So, yeah, no, I wouldn't go back. Anyways, that's what we think. If you're from Taipei, go try it out. Or if you're here on vacation, try it out yourself. What do we know? And let us know what you think in the comments. Take a look at this video on Amir's face. Mm, ramen? We've tried a lot of ramen places. So see if this one is a good one. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching.